space greetings from Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Furso, and today, June 3rd, 2017, third day of June. And by the way, today is the story about beetles and wasps. If it is interesting for you, follow this channel and follow this story. And today I'm sitting in my kitchen with this, my interesting assistant, but he's sitting here because it's sunshine, it's boring outside, so it's, but he's participating. But my subjects are here. You can recognize these subjects are beetles and wasps. Why are they here? Because I found them just here in Kyiv, in a common region here around the house, because they were flying around some cut trees. Yes, and I found that this is wasp of a family Scoliidae. This is a special Scolid wasp, which is living, by the way, the larva is living underground and adults were flying everywhere around near old cut trees. Why? Why this was living in a city? They should be living somewhere in a forest. Yes, they do live near the forest and in the forest like oak forest. But sometimes they are coming to cities and villages because they like to prey on scarabid beetles. And this is the host of this what is a special carabid beetles, a European rhinoceros beetle which is sitting here in this jar. And by the way, I open you these jars as well, because I will show you here not the honey which I am just tasting, and not the comb which I already showed on my other video, but beetles and wasps. And I am trying to feed them with Honey, you can recognize. And this is the wasp which I'm talking about. And this is a very big wasp, the largest wasp in Europe. Uh, maybe one is coming just from China, Oriental, this speed. But this one is a scolid wasp. And this is Mega Scolia maculata. Maculata because there are four yellow spots on abdomen of this wasp and size from 3 cm up to 6 cm length. Well, with darkened wings, with female with yellow, with yellow abdomen, and you see black, black colored hair, hair, very strange legs, and very active. Yes, darkened yellow wings. And this was is flying here in the city of Kiev and praying for rhinoceros beetle. Why? Because the larva, of, as I said, larva of this wasp living underground. This wasp must be going underground to find not the beetle like this one. Not the beetle, I show you the beetle. Of course, you should know rhinoceros beetle. Rhinoceros beetle, he is here, come here. But this is a host and this is predator, or to be precise, this is parasite of this lovely host, this European rhinoceros beetle. This wasp is searching underground, under cut trees, where all stems and uh, roots were rotating, so searching for larvae of this lovely rhinoceros beetle. And there was ah! stinging me, by the way. Yeah, please, do not sting. Yes. Ah! again. So we are just putting female inside and well oh yes yes this was a little bit unexpected but still the female stung me twice so that's why she will be sitting here in the jar and I will be talking the story about males which are less dangerous because you can recognize the wasp 
can I be very polite? Even I was polite talking this story and she was not. Well, so that's why I don't try to make this experiment again yourself. Uh, the Beatles escaped somewhere. But I will tell you the final story, what is going on with this wasp. Well, this wasp is searching for beetle. Where is my beetle, by the way? It's just somewhere. Drop down, I guess so. Fall down. Well, female is searching for beetle, larva of this lovely beetle underground, then just digging down searching the larva and stinging the la larva like she stung me. That's why the larva of beetle will be paralyzed, paralyzed and will be just sleeping on her own. I will not be sleeping, I hope so, because she stung me twice. By the way, it's dangerous, so do not repeat the experiment yourself. Be careful. This is difficult experiment, like you pr you're just playing with a tiger or with the lion. Be careful. That's why I do not repeat it. I tell you again because you see, I still feeling a little bit unpleasant in my fingers. So if people have allergy, it can be a little bit dangerous because it's uh, this place will be swollen. Well, this funny wasp is stinging sometimes. So, the male is not stinging, but if you are not specialist, you're not expert, you will not recognize male or female, and female can stung you, especially if you press the abdomen of female. Press the abdomen of female, so that's why she will be stinging. But I didn't press her. So, sometimes wasps, they are stinging, so be careful, especially Oh yes, my beetle, my beetle, sorry about it. My beetle is coming to the light. Beetle is not dangerous. Beetle is very peaceful. With the beetle, it's easy, it's easy to make the story with beetle. But, so I hope so, the story with beetle and wasp will be unique, especially if she was stinging. So, she didn't sting me at least to face, because it's more dangerous and unpleasant. Well, nevertheless, I recorded the first story with this wasp in Russian language and it was really funny. So, for people who is interested, you can see the full story in Russian with more funny moments with this wasp. Well, so, as I said, wasp is coming underground and finding the female of, not female, the larva of beetle. You can recognize this is a male, by the way, the male with horn. Oh, mine, sorry. Well, so was the beetle. Okay, larva is paralyzing the larva. No, not larva, okay. Wasp is paralyzing the larva of beetle, and larva is becoming like frozen. She's just not mummified, she's just frozen, paralyzed, not moving. So she will be like a canned food underground. And it can be under the ground, 15 centimeters, 30 centimeters underground. So, egg is growing, uh, egg is coming just to larva, and larva is growing underground. So, and pupating, making a tiny cocoon, tiny cocoon, and pupating somewhere in September, in October, underground. The, so, pupating the larva of this wasp underground. And after that, Overwintering, overwintering. So, so after winter in late spring, like in middle of May or end of May, the Megascola maculata, or very special name of this wasp, I still didn't say. So this is gigantic wasp, which is named Megascola maculata or mammoth wasp. Mammoth wasp. So this is like elephant wasp, but mammoth wasp. So special British English name. Mammoth wasp. This is a rhino, European rhinoceros beetle. And this is mammoth wasp. So hatching, hatching adult in late spring, like in 
late May and crawling around and searching for the next host for next host in this generation for larva of this beetle. That's why these was these are males and here this is why I have only one female only one this is the biggest one female which is no not here not this one this is the biggest this is the biggest female which I found with yellow with yellow head and four yellow spots on the abdomen. So so this was we'll be searching for next larva and paralyzing again and laying eggs underground. So this is a short story about this was and about her life cycle underground and out of ground. And out of ground this was uh, flying around some flowers so because we are feeding on flowers on nectar, so they are not dangerous, they are not social, so usually they are not so aggressive. Some other vispid wasp or round wasp, which are social, making just big colonies and very aggressive. So far, this wasp is not so aggressive, at least if you do not disturb this wasp, she is, will be very peaceful. So, I hope so. It was interesting for you. So this is a short story about rhinoceros beetle and wasps. So subscribe to my channel, press like and write your comments and looking forward to see you as subscriber on my channel. Thank you for watching. I hope it was interesting. Please don't, I said it third time, don't try to make this experiment again yourself because it's not easy, it's a little bit dangerous because wasps can be stinging, so that's why I must be very careful. But I will be trying to make you more stories about these wasps and others, and I will show you some big screenshots, not screen views, of this lovely wasp, which I will show you in a big size magnified zoom for face of a body of this lovely wasp, of it so lovely body and colored abdomen and colored body as well. So thank you for watching, see you soon and subscribe on my channel, good luck and bye bye, bye the readings from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine from me and this lovely wasp. Bye bye, subscribe to my channel, don't forget.